officers injured four of those critically when that gunman opened fire. Now that shooting happened around 1.30 this afternoon during a luncheon inside the Geneva Presbyterian Church on El Toro Road in Laguna Woods. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live with what we're learning tonight about this investigation, Lori. Well, we just moments ago uh, started to learn some information about the victims. Uh, law enforcement is not yet releasing the identity of the one person who was killed, but we now know some more information about the five other people who were hurt. Uh, and we understand, uh, and this makes it perhaps even more heartbreaking, they are all senior citizens. Uh, one victim, 66, another 75, 82, 86, and a 92-year-old man. All of those uh, people were shot. We are here just across the street from the parking lot and campus of Geneva Presbyterian Church about a half block from where we are standing is where investigators have set up a command post Orange County Sheriff OC Fire Authority along with the FBI and the ATF are all working together on this all eyes focused on the church here and the hall uh, connected to it where we're told as you said a luncheon was taking place this afternoon when the gunman entered and opened fire just before 1:30. again uh, those six victims one dead here on the scene four others in critical condition and one with minor injuries. Law enforcement, along with city leaders, did hold a very somber and serious press conference earlier this evening. The victims are all believed to be part of the Irvine Taiwanese Presbyterian Church community, which holds services here every Sunday, as they did today. And then after today's service, uh, there was a luncheon to honor a former pastor. We're told 40 people were inside when the shooting started. Deputies uh, recovered two handguns. It's unclear whether both of those were fired. Please Police now have in custody an Asian man in his 60s. They do not believe he's from this area. So they're trying to see what, if any, connection he has to the church. Meanwhile, a story of heroism is emerging. As you said, investigators say congregants stepped up bravely and tackled the man as he launched his attack, very likely saving lives. We believe a group of churchgoers detained him and hogtied his legs with an extension cord and confiscated at least two weapons from him. He was detained when the deputies arrived. That group of churchgoers displayed what we believe is exceptional heroism, heroism and bravery in intervening, or intervening to stop the suspect. They undoubtedly prevented additional injuries and fatalities. Now, the ATF is now tracing those guns to see uh, where he bought them and if they were legally obtained. Investigators are also looking for security video, and city and county leaders are providing counselors for uh, certainly anyone who was inside that church, but also for the community at large as this tragedy affects uh, so many here in Laguna Woods. Guys, back to you.